Welcome back guys, another weekend and we're working on MR2 as usual. So, here I am steering down a 5S engine. And everybody is saying, what are you doing with this thing? It needs to go in the trash. But it probably will end up in the trash. But for now, it's running and driving. And um, I'm trying to clean up the car. So as you saw, the interior was done, the brakes were done. I'm trying to do some stuff with the body. Um, so I'm getting everything clean, just like the 93, where everything was kind of perfect. And I was yanked the engine and did what we had to do so um the engine ran um as you guys saw in the previous video i don't know which video that was i think the last video we did were the bricks so the engine ran and um what i found out was it was dripping a little bit of oil and that's not good i, I hate oil leaks so um until i change the engine i don't want it dripping oil in my driveway so i'm gonna go ahead and um fix what i believe to be leaking is the oil pan so we're gonna head under the car and I'm gonna show you what's going on with the oil pan. In the meantime, the, the engine bay itself is as good as I could get it. You guys saw what it looked like before. So we got it kind of cleaned up. Um, so all the leaves and grease and everything is clean. So pretty much the top of the engine bay is dry. There's no leaks up here. Painted the heat shield, so painted that glass black. I tried to polish it, but it was too far gone. Um, the exhaust manifold shield as well. Just kind of cleaned this up and you know took everything out and and shined it up painted a few pieces so now we're gonna go underneath i'm gonna show you what's happening so up top is dry underneath we got a little leak and i'm surprised there's only one leak so far because you know these engines are notorious for leaking but let's jump right into it let me show you what we're gonna do today here i am rolling like the pros so i have my little roller i've had this thing for years i've never used it and i'm like why did i use it so here i am i'm gonna roll under the car so let's do that right now. Let's just roll on under the car and let me show you what's up, all right? So we have right here this big old oil pan and it's leaking. So if you look in the back, right around here, there you go, oil. So let me move to get the camera to the back of the car here and show you what's going on. So I, I we're showing you in the last video but it's leaking and it doesn't seem like a lot because I cleaned it up. I mean, under this car looks, it may look dirty, but it was way dirtier than what it's looking like right now. Because I came under here with the greaser and it's clean and clean and cleaned. Um, and lo and behold, um, you know, I found out that this thing was leaking. It's dripping oil. So if I wake up in the morning, uh, there's oil on the floor. So that means they're going to be all in the driveway. So it's leaking enough from the oil pan that I need to do something about it. Now, question is, well, why are you messing with it if we're going to change this engine? Well, like I said, we're going to change the engine eventually. However, I don't want anything leaking in my driveway, nor do I want anything leaking. I just don't like stuff leaking. So, so here it is, um, right here. Just this section looks like, surprisingly enough, everything in the time and cover is, is dry so far. Let's see when we start driving it, if it's going to start leaking. But to do this job, we got to basically drop this oil pan. So the first thing we're going to do we're gonna drain the oil, so we gotta pull this um, bung right here, get the oil out. Um, there's a lot of gasket maker on this bung, so hopefully this thread is still good. If not, I may have to buy a new oil pan, but I'm hoping I don't have to. And then there is the transmission bracket over here that we gotta pull, that's three bolts. I believe there's 14 millimeter bolts, so gotta pull this. And then there's this inspection plate right here. For the transmission that we got to get done so we have access to all these bolts i believe there are 19 17 bolts and two nuts on the um oil pan once we get those pulled this thing comes down and then we're gonna have to put new gasket maker seal this thing bolt it back up and hopefully it doesn't leak so you know this is the same process if it's a 3s gte gen 5 whatever 5s motor so you know if your oil pan is leaking no matter what engine you have this video would be useful uh, to show you how to do it. So uh, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start by getting the bracket off. So here's the transmission bracket. And for the purpose, again, as we always do in these videos, we pull everything so you guys don't have to watch me fighting to get bolts loose. So we're just going to pull these three bolts. There's one on the top and two on the side. So we're going to pull them. We're going to get this bracket out. And I think while it's out, while I'm at it, I might just get this thing painted. Because if there are 100 pieces that need that are dirty and you start cleaning that one by one, eventually everything looks good. So there you go. That comes out. And then we're going to get this inspection panel off. So there's a 10 millimeter here. 
we're gonna get that one out. There's a 12 millimeter right here. And again, I pulled these before, so they don't come this loose. <laughs> you gotta put a little muscle into it. Two on the top of the inspector panel to turn them here. So that's one. And then we're gonna get the last one here, and the panel should basically fall down or come down. There you go. Don't hurt yourself while you're doing it. Alright, so it's inspection panel is out. So we got the bracket, the inspection panel out, and inside of here, this is your flywheel. So it's the back of the flywheel. So now I have access to all of these bolts. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull these one by one. It's probably not gonna just drop right off. I'm probably gonna have to hit it with a hammer or something. I'm trying not to use a screwdriver or anything to price because I don't want to damage a pan. Um, because again, I don't want to spend too much money on this engine. So let's pull these and I'll just get it down. All right. Before we pull these bolts, don't forget to drain your oil. Otherwise you're going to get covered in oil. So I'm going to pull this thing and let's see if I can start pulling this without getting oil all over myself. Let me hold this pan up here real quickly. And this oil should be super dirty. So like a Miami thing, super. Everything in Miami is super dirty, super this, super that. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, that thing is pretty dirty. So let's see how much. It's flowing nicely though. The engine is cold, so yeah, we'll get that out, and it was. I, I, I'm actually gonna start pulling these bolts while this oil pan drains, cause um, yeah, like I said, it's not gonna fall on me. So let's jump. Let me let me get on that. As you guys saw, I basically took a blade and just took my time and just went through because I didn't want to damage anything or bend the oil pan. I, I did I'd use this thing and just kind of gently ease it in right here and pry it and it just came right off. So I didn't have to put much force because like I said, I'm really not trying to go spend any more money buying an oil pan. So I just want to put this thing sealed and done. So here you go, still. I didn't cut the other side because I couldn't get to it, so there you go. Okay, pick up tube and there's all that sealant. There you go. So now what I gotta do is clean this oil pan up. As you can see, gotta clean all of this gasket area, clean this oil pan really good. And then clean up all of this to make sure there's no oil. So I'm gonna put the new sealant. And it's coming out pretty good. As you can see, very thin layer. So it would, I mean, you don't really put a lot, but I don't think this is original. So maybe it was done before, or if it is original, there's really not a lot of sealant on it, as you can see. So that could explain why it was leaking. So, yep, so let's get this cleaned up. Uh, it's probably not gonna. Here's our oil. If you ever wonder where your oil dipstick is, there it is. It goes down into oil pan. So that's your little dipstick coming out. And here's the internals, your crankshaft. So it looks. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So we'll get this cleaned up. Uh, probably not gonna happen today. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'll get this cleaned up, and then we'll do the reinstall. Wait a little bit for it to dry properly. Just throw some new oil, fire it up, and then we're good to go. Oh, 
All the pan is down and we gotta clean up all the surfaces. So this is an area that's clean so far. So you gotta get in, I'm using a sharp blade, which I'm being very careful. A plastic blade, which I'm not being too careful. And then I'm using a wire brush to kind of, once I get the blade, use this to kind of clean up the surface. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna work all the way around and get this thing nice and clean. So basically you gotta get in and you gotta get in all these channels and clean everything up. So just like that, and once we get this cleaned, then we will put the new sealant and bolt everything back up. And I'm careful watching stuff fall in. I'm gonna wash this thing out anyways, but just make sure that once you get everything done, it's nice and clean, top is clean, nothing is inside, put the sealant around, which you'll see, and then we bolt it back up. <music> Alrighty, so 48 inch pounds, that's the torque spec on these oil pan bolts, which is really not a lot. So I just went through the 17 bolts and two nuts, got everything torqued down. Uh, I think I put the bead on good. So now what we're gonna do now is wait. Uh, it says wait like 16 hours before this thing fully dries. So I'll give it 24 hours and um, We'll come back, we'll throw some oil in there, fire it up and see if it's fixed. So that was, I mean, we're, we're gonna show you guys the startup and the test and hopefully it works. So at least it's not just camera magic or we're doing stuff, but we don't know if it works. But for now, uh, as you can see, it's a process. You gotta take the exhaust out. I forgot to mention that. So the three bolts for the exhaust off the, the downpipe, um, basically, um, right before the catalytic converter. And then you pull it from the back i got it out so you can get this oil pan down and as you can see there's no point trying to do it with the exhaust on because just to, to maneuver the oil pan to get it down and get it in without getting that gasket um, sealant all messed up when you put it back up it doesn't make any sense so you definitely have to drop the exhaust um but yeah but that's where we are exhaust comes off pull this thing drain the oil pull all the bolts use the blade to cut the seal and then get the pan down clean everything up um, use the Toyota sealant, the packing, um, which you saw in the box, and um, put that around five millimeter bead all around, and um, yeah, put it up, torque it down to 48 inch pounds. So now it's just a waiting game, and then we'll see. Right, so the next day here, and we got our synthetic fluid that we put inside. So we put 4.2, 4.2 liters. So that's what I put inside here. So it's ready to go, and car will start it up fine. And uh, no leak so far, so I think we're good to go. So you want to wait, I mean, technically you're supposed to wait like 15, 16 hours. I know a lot of guys, you need your car to work, so you're probably just going to slap that thing on and crank it up in like two hours or so. But since I'm not using the car, I waited a day, threw the oil in and started up and nothing is leaking. So the only thing left now is to put the exhaust back on. So we're going to put the exhaust back on, fire it up, and then that's it. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. Uh, I'm gonna close this out, but you'll get to see me putting the exhaust back on and everything. And if you have any questions on this um, job, just send me a note in the comment section or feedback or whatever you think I could have done differently. So hope you guys are enjoying this and let's get this exhaust on and wrap this up for this weekend. All right, so I'm under the car. So this is the factory exhaust system and I had it painted. So originally I was gonna put in this gray, but I didn't like the gray. So I had another one because we had a 93. So I took the one from 93 that was painted black and I put the exhaust black. So I left this pipe gray here. So basically you got two bolts right here. There's a gasket in between, so you can replace that. I'll show you the part number in a second. If you wanna put a new one, because more than likely this is destroyed. 
these two bolts for the hanger just kind of hold the exhaust in place and if you follow the pipe the mid pipe down here then you go here three bolts here that connect to the catalytic converter so three 14 millimeter bolts depending on what type of bolts you got here 14 millimeter to 12 millimeter right here to get this exhaust on we got to tighten these three 14 millimeter bolts don't forget there's a gasket that goes in between the cat and the pipe here the mid pipe so these are probably rotted by now so when you take off your exhaust you might not see it because it just disintegrates you'll see a lot of dust so if you're going to replace this just remember this thing to avoid any leaks and then you just basically tighten this up so it's three bolts here we got two on the other end and then two that secure it to the the pipe to the exhaust on a bracket and that's pretty much it so we just got to get everything done now i got these two going on nicely this one because this thing was all rusted out when i took it off it's a little bit cross threaded the thread is kind of messed up so i'm hoping this goes on good and it doesn't break so i'm going to take my time and just run this thing up and hope for the best because if this stud breaks we're stuck in the water so let me do this and i'll show you guys the final product once you get this thing fired up all right so there you have it we're done all pan seal is fixed and exhaust is on and painted and looking sharp so more pieces coming together um so hope you like this episode i'm gonna start the car now just to check for leaks once more and then that's it and i think you guys are gonna like the next one so stay tuned because we got something even more exciting coming for this car <laughs>